In front of a jam-packed SUNY Ulster gym, Marlboro took on Pine Plains for the Mid-Hudson Athletic League title on Thursday. Marlboro rallied to beat Pine Plains in overtime in the team's season opener, so the Dukes knew the Bombers and their huge front line were tough. After a great defensive stop after the tip by Marlboro, the Dukes found the going tough and fell behind 7-1. But Marlboro battled back and trailed just 12-11 heading into the second quarter. Marlboro again started slowly in the second quarter and fell behind 19-11 before Ryan Carey stopped Pine Plains' run with a three-pointer. The Dukes took a 22-20 lead with a minute left on the bucket by Alex Smith, but Justin Cooper's three-pointer gave Pine Plains a 23-22 lead at the half. The teams traded baskets throughout the third quarter to keep it tight. Marlboro took a 35-33 lead into the final quarter when Matt Tamburi put in a layup just before the buzzer. Neither team could open much of a cushion in the fourth quarter, and there were five ties and five lead changes. When Tyler Turpening hit a three-pointer with 14 seconds left, Marlboro trailed just 48-47. But after a Pine Plains free throw, Tyler Banks was unable to connect on the tying basket and Pine Plains escaped with a 49-47 victory. Tell me a little bit about this team. I know you beat them in this game last year. You went to overtime against them in the first game of the year. This year, what kind of you know was special about your team and this team that makes all these games come so? Um, I think like our size and our effort, uh, I mean their size, I'm sorry, their size is tough up, tough for any team to match up with and uh, we really pride ourselves on our effort so uh, that's something we look to uh, take advantage of other teams with but uh, tonight we just came up a little short. Yeah, I know you just told me about this game, it was kind of back and forth, there was ties, there was a couple of lead changes in the fourth quarter. Uh, is that tough for you as a player when it just kind of comes down to one play at the end? Or are you just um, kind of chalk it off to, hey, it was a good game? Not, games, not really. I mean, we never want it to come down to that. I mean, we're trying to build a lead, but like I said, this team, tough to do it against. I mean, they're number one or number two in the state for Class C, so I mean, they're, they're definitely a good team. And, like, also give credit to them, but the back and forth game doesn't really bother us at all. Like, I mean, the last time we played, we came down from 14 to beat them in overtime, so I mean, realistically, it can go either way. It just happens to be close every time.